Welcome back to the Cozy Hour, guys. This is episode two, and it's going to get a little spooky around here because we're doing Halloween-themed scary stories for this episode. (laughs) But, like, okay, so as I was going through the stories, like, to find, like, I just realized, like, what scares people? Like, you know what I mean? Like, scary, like, defining scary is hard. Because what is scary? There's, like serial killers there's ghosts there's you know all these things and i feel like i'm my scary tolerance is really high well, so what scares you i don't know bad hygiene <laughs> walmart oh yeah walmart's <laughs> shit. that's walmart a haunted house spooky. that's my haunted house it's a free haunted house but yeah i feel like the living scares me more than the dead true that i don't even know what scares me either serial killers don't scare me no crime doesn't scare me <laughs> yeah, I know. So, yeah. Nothing, right? Oh. Yeah. Nothing really scares us. Okay, should we just jump into the stories? Okay. Okay, I have one. Where did it go? So, this is all just from Reddit. I have. Oh, this one's scary. This reminds me of when we were in New York going to on the train to Brooklyn. <laughs> and we were pounding, we were pounding on the. <laughs> On the train doors, let me out. But anyways, um, this scary story is called The Last Train Ride Home. In a quiet village, there was an old train station long abandoned, except for a single rusted train car that stood on the tracks. Forgotten by time, locals warned never to approach it after dark as strange happenings were rumored to occur. One night, a weary traveler named Lily missed her last bus ride home. With no other option, she decided to walk to the last train station, hoping to catch a glimpse of the old train. The moon hung low in the sky, casting an eerie glow over the decaying structure. As she approached the train car, a shiver ran down her spine. The door creaked open slowly as if inviting her in. Curiosity peaked. Lily stepped inside, her heart pounding. The air was thick with dust and an unsettling silence. Suddenly, the door slammed shut behind her, plunging her into darkness. Panic surged as she fumbled her phone, but it was dead. Just then, she heard a low whistle echo throughout the car, followed by the sound of a train rumbling to life. The lights flickered on, revealing a dimly lit compartment filled with shadowy figures seated silently, their eyes blank and lifeless. Lily's breath quickened as she realized these were not ordinary passengers. They were the lost souls of those who had boarded the train long ago, never to return. Where are we going? Lily asked, her voice trembling. One of the figures turned, a ghostly smile stretching across its face. Home, it whispered, the word dripping with malice. The train lurched forward, speeding through the night, leaving the village far behind as the landscape blurred outside the window. Lily felt a cold hand grip her wrist. The figures began to lean closer, their whispers filling the air, urging them, to, urging for her to join them. Stay with us forever. Desperate, she searched for an escape, but the windows were sealed tight. The train roared on, the darkness closing in behind her. She realized then that she was not just a passenger, she was destined to become one of them. As the train hurled into the abyss, the last thing Lily saw was the Flickering lights of the village disappearing into the night, replaced by a chilling darkness that welcomed her as one of their own. When morning came, the station stood silent once more, but if you dared to listen, you could hear the faint sound of a train whistle in the distance, and the whispers of the lost souls beckoning for new travelers to join their eternal ride. Dun, dun, dun. Was that a true story? Um, I don't think so. It needs a better punchline. It does. <laughs> <laughs> the last train ride home. Yeah, I was trying to look for updates. So this was posted a day ago, but oh. there's nothing, like, no updates or anything. Where did it say it was at? I don't know. I just said a quiet village. Oh. Mm. It's giving fiction. Yeah, it's giving fiction. Like, I didn't get scared. Yeah, I wasn't spooked. I was more spooked <laughs> the time we were stuck in Brooklyn on this. Oh, yeah. Thing. Pounding on the glass. Um. Did we tell that story last time? I think we did. Mm-hmm. But you can, you can re- refresher. Mm-hmm. Okay, refresher. 
We were in New York City um, in January of 2023, and we ate dinner. How did we get stuck there? We mm. ate dinner at Beauty in Essex. And then we were trying to, oh yeah, so we ate dinner at Beauty in Essex, and then we were trying to catch the subway back to our hotel, which was like near the Empire State Building. Uh, and then we got on the wrong train. But this was only like day t- one or two. It was the first day. Yeah, so we didn't <laughs> know how to work the dang subway. And we got in the subway car. Um, first of all, we Googled it, how to get there. Then we went down into the subway stairs, waited, got on the train and everything. We're riding the train, and then in the subway, there's like, a little map not a map but there's like a list of stops oh, right. and it lights up at every stop that you get to or that you're approaching and i'm watching it and i'm like i think we're <laughs> it's not going towards us it's going away from our hotel and so i'm like casey we're on the wrong train but then i thought that all the trains just go up and, then back. and right back like a, like a tram yeah because yeah. the, the subways in manhattan in Manhattan they run up and down and mm-hmm. then there's only one that runs side to side mm-hmm. so I'm like okay so we've got to just get there wait and then we'll just come back down we get <sighs> all the way to Brooklyn <laughs> everyone exits the car except the two of us idiots sitting in the car and then it's like the, the trains are all on like the lights are on but it's dark outside because it's like 8 o'clock already yeah. and we're sitting there like idiots waiting and waiting and then we realize nobody else is getting on the train <laughs> and then the door there's multiple doors on the subway, <laughs> but the doors directly in front of us were shut. And I see all the uh, MTA workers start to walk in one direction. And I'm like, oh, my God, are they closed? They're getting off. And the thing said that, too. Like, this is the last stop. Please exit the train. Oh, yeah. And then I was like, oh, my God. So I ran up to the <laughs> door and I was banging on the glass of the subway door to the MTA worker. Like, oh, my God, let us out. Let us out, please. And then. And then he just points. He just goes like this. I look to the side and the other door is wide open. (laughs) So then we walk outside and I'm like, I'm so sorry. We're um, stuck. We're lost. And then that was the night that he explained to us that when you ride the subway, like, for example, the Q train or something, there's an uptown one and a downtown one so you have to make sure you're catching the correct one so we were supposed to go downtown but we caught uptown or something like that um but that was a good lesson to learn on the first day because after that we did not get yeah yeah, we didn't get lost after that on the subway yeah maybe we were supposed to get you know encounter that guy Ooh, spooky (laughs) no he was nice i'll tell you what the new york city subway is a spooky place oh yeah hopefully it's better next time yes Actually, the subway cars are not too spooky because there's so much people on them. Mm-hmm. But waiting for the train in the in general, yeah. yeah, like in underneath the ground in the station, that's scary. Yeah, and then like how everyone rushes on. Oh yeah, that's scary. That's scary. Or like you're trying to get off, but then there's so many people on there that you can't get out. Yeah, that's and what no it one's is. moving, and you don't want to miss your stop. Yeah, because then you're going to have to go to the next one and then walk. Oh. No, no. But I tell you what, the subway system is a good transportation. Yeah, I would ride it if it, we had one here. It probably smelled like piss if it was here. Oh, like everything else in Hilo smells <laughs> like piss. <laughs> no lies. Okay, should we do another story? Yeah. Okay, this one is called... I don't know. Okay, this one is called My Brother is a Deadbeat. Dave was always a screw up, the failure, someone who didn't do well in school and had been held back, someone who did not even have a single friend, someone who was downright hideous with horrible acne and stupid interest. Everyone stayed clear of him. He was someone bound to have a shitty future ahead of him. On the other hand, I was the opposite. I was a star student who always did well and made it on the honor board. I was downright handsome and I had quite a large social circle i was bound to have a successful future ahead of me someone's cocky oh no it was a pain just mentioning him whenever i or someone else brought him up i'd roll my eyes and gag it was ridiculous being related to someone like him comments such as hey isn't that wyatt's brother or i can't believe you're his sibling always irritated me as we grew older dave tried to bring out what little value he had within but that was all pointless 
he was destined to be trapped in my shadow and couldn't do shit about it. <laughs> Fuck. <Jeez. laughs> he was in community college and I found myself at Yale. He got a dead end job at a convenience store. I landed a high paying job. He fell in love with a woman from high school and married her. I had it all and Dave didn't. Eventually he did it. Suicide. He dropped his worthless body straight off a bridge and into the water below. I smiled after I got the phone off the phone with the hospital knowing I was finally free from that parasite. I could finally live my life not being associated with him anymore. I started to have a new interest in life, knowing that Dave was now out of the picture. I was so relieved. No more Dave, only me. Or so I thought. I began to experience signs of drowsiness and felt incre increasingly tired. I went to my doctor and to discuss the issue, but he couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. He prescribed me medicine, which I doubted would help. My condition only worsened. I stopped showing up to work, hanging out with friends, and coming to gatherings. They all asked if I was okay and I lied. I felt exhausted, so I couldn't get out of bed. Not only that, but my shadow began changing. It slowly started not to become mine, but someone else's, but I couldn't identif identify who exactly. As I laid in my bed, pouring sweat pouring down my face, I noticed my shadow. Its shape was growing, becoming larger and larger as it projected off the bedroom doors. I could see the giddy smile on its new face as it placed its arms around me and I felt sinking into my bed as my shadow dragged me down and it did so I stared at it questioning why now it looked it looks so similar to Dave so Dave is haunting him period Dave <clears throat> when I die before you I'm gonna haunt you <laughs> I just want you to know that <laughs> what did I do to deserve the haunting <laughs> I'm gonna haunt the crap out of you oh my god Somebody said, so someone commented and said, sounds like Dave always wanted your life and now he's getting it. You should have been nicer to him. <laughs> oh my God. No, yeah. The beginning of the story was kind of awful. Yeah. Very cringy. True story or not true story? I think it seems a little far-fetched. It's just um, a thread called Short Scary Stories. This was posted two days ago, but I don't think it's... It doesn't sound true. Sometimes when I watch, um, I go on YouTube and I'll type in like scary stories mm -hmm. and it'll be just be like two hours straight of short, scary mm -hmm. stories like that. And some of them, I'm just like, like I listen to them. And I'm like, that's not real. No. That's not real. That's not. But some of them, like it'll say true, whatever. Scary stories, true stories about the dark, true stories about the night shift yeah. or something like that. Um, that's what that thread reminds me of. Just like an ongoing thing yeah, of scary an ongoing thing. but i think because it's getting closer to halloween there's a lot of fiction ones right yeah. now because if it was true wouldn't you post it like around like throughout the whole year i feel like if it was true you might not say it at all yeah like i feel like true true scary stories people don't um they don't post it yeah like i wouldn't want to tell people about my brother haunting me <sighs> on reddit and how much of a shitty brother you were to him <laughs> yeah that too This one's scary. This one's called The Woman Without Eyes. There's a woman who roams the streets at night. She is described as being five feet and seven inches in height, having pale skin and long brown hair reaching her shoulders. She can be spotted wearing boots, jeans, and a stained white shirt. She roams the area sobbing, her eyes filled with blood, her eyes seemingly gone. Nothing but voids of darkness are in her eye sockets. And there is not even a sign of mus muscle tissue to fill the empty space. Her name is Ellie. Eyeless Ellie. The report goes that she was attacked one night and had her eyes stabbed out. If you spot her, she will hear you without a doubt. She will slowly shovel her way toward you, her hands covering her eyes. Slow sobs fi filling the silent air and stains of red dripping from her knuckles. She will follow you until you stop and come up close, leaving mere inches of space between you and her. Ellie will lift her head up, still covering her face with her hands. She will ask you where she is. Be sure to answer or tell her your current location. She will then ask you if you can help her. If you value your life, say yes. If you say no, you'll experience a sharp pain in your eyes. Start leaking tears of blood and go blind. 
If you agree to help her, you'll have to follow her so you can reach. Wait. If you agree to help her, you will have to follow her so you can help search for her eyes. She will wander aimlessly until she loses interest and gives up. This will only be 10 minutes at most. She will thank you for your help and move on. Refusal or turning to trying to run away will make her grab your arm and hold you in place. You'll be forced to look into her pitch black eyes, almost looking into the abyss itself. She will proceed to remove your eyes herself and make you like her, taking from you what was taken from her, yet feeling empty on this petty revenge. That's scary. Ellie the eyeless elephant. The <laughs> Ellie. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. That reminds me of the story that people, some people talk, tell about Pele walking on the side of the road. Oh my gosh, can um, Oh no, I'm sorry. What am I talking about? Pele. There's a story. Yeah, cut that out. It wasn't Pele. Um, there's a story about this lady that walks on the side of the road dressed in white. Do you never hear this story? She walks on the side of the road dressed in white, and if you don't stop to pick her up or something, she haunts the shit out of you. But then if you do stop to pick her up, like, she'll be in the back of your car, and then you're driving down the road, you turn around, she's gone. It's not Pele. Is that Pele? Yeah. With a dog? Yeah. Okay, yeah, That's I wasn't Pele. tripping then. Yeah, but you've heard that story, yeah. right? Um, that she walked, like, in Kona or something. Along Saddle Road, maybe? Yeah, Or, yeah. like, Volcano area? That's the one. Yeah. That kind of reminds me of that, like, a lady just walking around aimlessly. Yeah. Oh, my God. Would you stop? I wouldn't say it's a human. <laughs> Let alone a ghost. Let alone a ghost. Not in these times. Oh, yeah, I know. People are crazy. Yeah. I'm sorry. If Even if I knew you, I probably wouldn't stop. Yeah. I would keep going. There's Uber not even. And if you knew me, you'd probably call me and ask for a ride. Yeah. You're going to be walking on the side of the road. Wait. <laughs> uh, one, time I was with <laughs> one time I was with one of my aunties, and she had a truck, though. Okay. And she picked up this guy on the side of the road, and he rode in the back of the truck. It was fucking weird. Like a, like a random guy? Yeah. Like he was oh hitchhiking God. and then she had a, a green truck and she picked him up and then she came to pick me up from the bus stop. The and I was like, who so the was heck is that oh guy God. in the back of the truck? And I forget where she took him. Oh. Like, I don't remember where she dropped him off. Like, hmm. like, did he know where to get off or she kind of? No, I, I mean, I'm sure he told her where to oh, go. Okay. But I was like, why is this random guy in the back of the truck? It was a hitchhiker. Ugh. Yeah, I wouldn't do that nowadays. No, um, never. I mean, you want to be nice, but then at the same time, you really can't trust it. You know, anybody. Mm, define nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice gets you killed. I watch a lot of movies, oh, okay? Yeah. Nice gets you killed. Especially in Hilo. Oh, yeah. Especially in Hilo. Like, there's a lot of people hitchhiking. Every time I... After I drop you off on Thursdays, uh, and I'm going home on... Like, I gotta go get on Ponava Stretch a little bit. By Baskin right? Robbins. Yeah, there's always people yeah. hitchhiking. And it's late. This yeah. is like 8, eight o'clock at night. <clears throat> but imagine like you let someone in your car. I mean, you could probably like, if you had a truck, you could probably tell them to jump in the back if you're I headed like trust, out that way. Though, yeah. But then imagine if you stop to drop them off and then they're setting you up and there's like people waiting in the bushes for you or something. Yeah. That, yeah. Um, and then if you put them in the car, what if they have a weapon? And like yeah. people are like, oh, right in the back seat. I feel like that's even worse because then your back is facing them. <sighs> Yeah, just no, don't right. just don't pick up a hitch. Yeah. Just don't do it. Yeah. Or you're gonna be on Big Island Thieves. Oh my god, if you if you pick them up? Yeah. Like or if you don't pick them missing up. Missing Hilo <gasps> man picks up hitchhiker, goes missing. <gasps> no. Oh wait, what was I gonna Oh yeah. No, I was gonna tell you. Oh, we were, oh no okay so no there is i have heard um this story on oahu where there's that lady right in the bathroom and she doesn't have a face you never heard of it okay well it's yeah it's on youtube um it's a hawaiian story or hawaii scary story but yeah there's this woman in the bathroom and she doesn't have a face and she's just like over the sink crying and hiding her face all right, I would not be going to the bathroom alone. And this is at this Kahala, like the Kahala area. Oh. oh. Yeah, so we're not. I mean, I love Kahala, though. I would not be going there. <laughs> In the bathroom. I would not be going to the bathroom. I'll hold it till, <laughs> till whenever to I the next, to hold it. Yeah, to the next place. Okay, do I have another story? Oh. 
Okay, I have another story. But this one's really long. Better have a good punchline. I think so. Okay, well, the okay. so the punchline <laughs> is my brother's wife won't let me see him. My brother's wife, wife won't, won't let, let me, me see, see him. him. This is posted three days ago. Okay. The police didn't believe me, but I'm hoping your organization will have an open mind. Last Friday, I went to visit my brother. He bought a fixer-upper to flip. And this past week, he's been silent. He's living alone in an old house, so I wanted to make sure nothing had broken and left him too injured to respond. When I knocked on the door, someone I didn't recognize answered. Hello, I'm looking for Derek. Oh, I'm Amanda, his wife. That's impossible. Derek isn't married. I know. Okay, can I see him? No, he isn't feeling well. She began closing the door. I caught it with my shoe. Well, I'm his sister and I want to check on him. Anger flashed across her face for an instant before she threw the door open with a grin. Oh, I should have remembered you. Why don't you come in? When I crossed that threshold for just a moment, Amanda seemed familiar. I could picture her wearing a wedding dress and slicing some cake. Amanda led me to a wooden door. He's resting right in there. You can catch up while I make dinner. I flung the door open and the basement stairs greeted me. She pushed me into the abyss. <laughs> By the time I struggled to get to my feet, it was dark and my body ached. An ethereal mist began to fill the around my shoes and low whispering chanting filled the air. I looked up to see Amanda gracefully descending. She brushed past me and continued deeper into the basement. The chanting grew louder, a chorus from every corner of the basement. Words that I could almost understand. I slowly followed her. She was standing in front of the well. And as she beckoned, I understood that she wanted me to stand on the edge and drop down. My body moved on its own while I screamed in protest. I was almost to the well when I tripped. There was a heavy metal lid on the floor and I stumbled across it. With that, the illusion shattered. I turned and saw Amanda as my eyes adjusted. I could make out how inhuman and twisted her features were in the illumination of the dull glow of the whispering well. I turned and ran, pushing past Amanda and fleeing the basement. I headed to the second door hoping to find Derek. Amanda was already standing on the top landing, reaching towards me. I sped down the second door hallway and into a room. And we're back. Okay. So, um, yeah, the creepy grandparents. Yeah. So they're trying to go and then the, the lady's like, oh, that's just how your grandma is. She's a little odd. That's why I don't talk to her. Blah, blah, blah. And then... Um, and then there's this scene of them playing hide and seek under the house. And then the grandma's like, joins the game. And she's old as shit, okay? But she's like climbing on her hands and she's like going really fast. And then that part's like a jump scare. Okay, but that's not, that's besides the point. Anyway, so then there's a part in the movie where the um, daughter is like telling her mom, like, grandma's being weird. And then she turns the laptop because they're like FaceTiming. She turns the laptop to the old lady that's standing outside. And then... Um, the girl's mom that's on the cruise is like that's not your grandparents the entire time they were with two randos oh my God. and their grandparents were dead in the basement the yeah the 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 two random people killed their grandparents and then pretended to be them and they were with the kids the whole time Wait, it's such a good movie i don't know what it's on anymore but it's a good movie just because if i didn't just tell you that part you wouldn't have known that that was coming no not at all yeah so it was like the wrong yeah. Oh my gosh, wait. This is 2015, but I feel like it's really recent. I love that movie. I mean, oh, I wouldn't say it's scary, like, ooh. It's just creepy. Like, there's a couple jump scares, but then it's just the ending, like, the plot twist is like, oh. I want to watch it now. It's good. It's super good. That is it. Oh, it's M. Night Shyamalan. Oh, that's why it's so good. Yeah. I love M. Night Shyamalan. Me too. I like to watch the movie Split. Yeah. The one with all the different personalities. That There's multiple ones, right? There's Split and then Split 2. And then is is M. Night Shyamalan the one that also directed or made Get Out? That movie uh, Get Out? Let's see. I want to see yes. Uh, 
Get Out is no, it's not. Oh. It's Jordan Peele. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Get Out's another good movie too. Yeah. I'm trying to think what my absolute favorite scary movie is. It's not The Visit. It's I just, not. That's just like that's a just good like one. an honorable mention. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like what is that one? Thirteen Ghosts or the oh, Glass House? Yeah, yeah. Thirteen Ghosts. Yeah, that one's they, a good like, classic one. Like all the ghosts one. starts getting let out from the different rooms. Thirteen Ghosts. I, I mean, that one wasn't classic. scary though for me. Yeah, I mean, there's just jump scares, but yeah. it's not actually scary. I don't know what scary is, though. Yeah, like I was telling you, it's hard to define what's scary, you know? Yeah. No, I've definitely watched... I've got to have watched a show or a movie that I'm, like, covering my eyes. I've had to have. Oh, which one? Did we watch a scary movie in the theater? No. Mm, Not recently. I think I was in college when I watched a scary movie in the theater. I don't know. Like, what is it called? Um... What like an actual movie? scary yeah. movie. I'm gonna just Google scary movies and see what pops up. What is that movie that starts with a C that everyone watches? Children of the Corn. No, no, no. I just <laughs> finally watched Children oh of the my Corn. God. Um, like last week, and now I understand why people tease Casey's cousins and oh. call them Children of the Corn. Now I understand. Oh, The Conjuring. I, oh yeah, that The Conjuring's one. a good one. I was gonna say watching that in the theater. That's crazy. What else? I never did watch The Exorcist, but my dad did say that that's one of the scariest movies of all time. I think so. Like, I wouldn't (coughs) willingly watch it. Yeah, I'll probably get nightmares. Oh, I know Mm. what the scariest movie we watched was. What? A Quiet Place. I'm just kidding. No. I was like, The Cat? (laughs) That was the dumbest movie. If you... I mean, it's out of theaters already, so you won't be wasting your money, but... Don't even waste your time with that movie. Let's see how long it is. Even that Insidious... An hour and 45 minutes... That's an hour of 45 minutes you're not going to get back. Yeah. So don't watch that. For which one? A Quiet Place. Oh, yeah. The second one. I think it's the second movie. The one that's based in New York City. It's so stupid. Which one? A Quiet Place. We watched it in the theaters. I forgot it's based in NYC. And that's the only reason why we watched it. And it was stupid. It was, yeah. And they didn't even have Pepsi Icy's that day. Even worse. Also stupid. Oh, yeah. Smile, too. But you got to watch Smile 1 first. Scared. And then we can watch that. Okay. Scary. Yeah, I'm smiling. I feel like there's... Ooh, another one of my favorite movies is Carrie. I had never watched Carrie that. Carrie White. Oh, I don't know. It's not that scary to me. I've never watched that one. It's the one, like, the... She just has, like, telepathy and, like, powers. So it's fiction. I don't think you'll like it. Mm. I I personally don't like uh, fantasy shows or fiction shows. I like real shows or like shows that could be real. You know what I mean? Right. Um, there's another show that I watched. I'm trying to find it. Oh, The Woman in Black is pretty scary Which too. Is that? It's like a. Uh, it's not. I was gonna say a witch. It's not a witch. It's a ghost. You don't like vampires. I don't because they're fake. <laughs> I don't like anything fake. Pretty much. I don't like aliens. That's also. Well, I'm not even gonna go there if it's fake or not. I'm not gonna say nothing. Oh, the woman in black. Yeah. Mm, yeah that's Is that the one? Harry Potter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, I used to like to watch when I was in high school. Me and my classmate, we used to watch uh, American Horror Story. Mm-hmm. That was pretty scary. Like, not all the seasons are scary because some of them are stupid. But yeah. A couple of the seasons are pretty scary. Um. Let me. I don't know which one it was. American. I think Asylum was the one that we used to watch. Oh, yeah, in class. That That's scary. But they have a lot of different ones now. I don't know. I lost interest after um, Freak Show. Yeah. I oh, lost yeah. Freak interest. Show is good, too. Because then it was the Lady Gaga one after, and I didn't yeah. care for that. Yeah, that's right. Freak Show was uh, Freak Show was a good one, too. Yeah. Okay, there's American Horror Story, the original. Oh, that's the one with the latex guy. Yeah. And then Asylum. And then Coven is like the witch one, right? Yes. And then Freak Show. Hotel. Is Hotel the that's one Lady Gaga with one. Lady Gaga? Yeah, that's I think when that's I when I stopped too. Because it's weird. It's almost like like they were overdoing it. Yeah, it was just weird. And isn't Kim Kardashian on the newest one? I think something? 
Oh, another good one is the Winchester house. Did you watch oh, that yeah, one? Oh, yeah, the one about the gun, right? Yeah, like yeah, the, the Winchester the rifle. Like, husband made the gun or something, and then... And it killed people. And then they're haunted, so she makes, like, rooms that lead to nowhere and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, my dad was telling me about that. It's a real house. I didn't know that. Where is it? In California, San Maybe Jose. we should go see it. I'm scared. <sighs> I'm scared. No, that's one thing that I'm scared of. Going to the Winchester house? Yeah, because it's, like... A big house that leads to nothing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. My hand's falling asleep holding the mic. Yeah, that one's creepy. <clears throat> but I love that movie. The Winchester House. Oh, this is not a movie. I mean, it might be a movie, but I've heard the story on BuzzFeed um, called The Watcher. Mm, the one, like, there's a familiar. house and people move into the house and then they, like, start to get letters mm. in the mail. And it's like, oh, we're watching. I've been watching. My grandpa was watching. Now my dad watches and I'm going to watch or some shit like that. I don't know. It's weird. But that could totally be true. But it could be somebody just, <laughs> just fucking, fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's actually. Is it a series? The Watcher. Oh, uh, I don't know. I didn't ever watch oh. it. I just listened to the thing on YouTube. What's on Netflix? Yeah. Oh yeah, terrifying letters from a stalker. Signed yeah. The Watcher. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one. I like to watch scary stuff on YouTube, but Zach, um, I used to watch scary movie, not scary movies, scary videos on YouTube to fall asleep, and then Zach would get nightmares. So now I'm not allowed to watch those. Oh my god. But I do love it. Like when I'm working. Mm-hmm. I just like put my iPad next to the computer and then I run those scary stories. Oh gosh. Yeah. What about House of Wax? <gasps> Shut up. House of Wax. That movie was just on. It's rare. It was on TV, TV. on cable TV. Oh like, my God. It was like a couple days ago and then a couple days before that. Like they keep Ooh. on, because it's the Halloween Horror Fest or something. Yeah. I forget what channel it is, but it's Halloween Horror or something. And they keep on playing it. I love that movie. I like it too. It's cr- I, yeah, the ending was just. I keep a forgetting that that's the movie. Because, like, you ever just think of a scene of a movie and then you're like, oh my God, that was so good. So, remember that part where the guy kidnaps her, puts her downstairs at the gas station? Yeah. And then her brother comes to look for her, and then she's sticking her finger through the. Oh the great thing the drain great and she's like sticking her finger through it and then the fucking guy bends down and cuts her finger off with (laughs) 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 i love that part that part's so good god damn i'm just looking at the stills from that movie i love that movie. so crazy but didn't the guy not die at the end oh i didn't watch all of it oh yeah it's just a trip that they're in this town yes with nothing but wax figures and then don't they burn it down? Yeah, they burn it down. Oh, okay. And everything melts. And Paris Hilton's in that one. Yeah. Did you ever watch um, any of the Final Destination movies? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, I love those. I don't think I watch all of them, but yeah. Uh, are they, those were on the Halloween Horror Fest oh, also. I love the Final um, And before I forget, another good show I like to watch that I know a lot of people don't like to watch is Saw. Oh, my God. Like, they have, like, Saw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like, they have so many Saws. I love that movie. Is that the one with Jigsaw? Yes. Oh, God. And then there's even a spinoff now on Hulu called Spiral with Chris Rock, Mm -hmm. I think it is. But I love that movie just because there's so much gore. I like the gore. I don't know how you do it. I like when the lady falls in the needle pit. Mm -hmm. Um, There's other Saw movie i typed in sa to to put saw for saw and it put s-a-k-u-r-a sakura oh my god <laughs> it knows us so well oh, that's funny so. no i want saw not sakura <laughs> yes it's the one with jigsaw riding that stupid bicycle <laughs> <laughs> why don't they just kick him i win he's a puppet stupid children of the corn you have to watch Children of the Corn. It's it's what funny. year? Uh, like the original, oh like the God. OG sixteen hundreds Children of the Corn. God damn, there's so much. I know. How many children are there? Oh yeah, the first one, Stephen King. I mean, like the the storyline isn't good, but it's creepy. It's so just it's creepy. Because the kids are just starting. Like it's a town that the kids take over. Oh. So there's like this one kid whose name is uh, Shucks. Is it Joseph or Isaiah? Oh my God! It's something it's like that. Like a, yeah. And so 
it, he's like the leader like the kid he's a kid and he's oh. the leader and he starts telling all the kids to start killing their parents and stuff and killing other people's parents and then after that there's no parents and there's only kids oh in that town and then like these two outsiders come these two adults and they try to kill them I don't know. It's stupid. It's it's actually stupid, but it's creepy. What about the hills? What is, is it <gasps> Hills of Eyes or I the... the hills of Eyes or Silent Hill? I can't remember. Hills of Eyes is really good. There's a one and two. I th- I just watched number two. Oh, no, I watched both. Okay, yeah. Hills of Eyes number one is the Ooh. one the family is crossing the desert in the RV. And yeah. then the monsters... Not monsters. I don't even know what you would call them. Because if you say monsters, it sounds fake. Yeah. But the deep okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, Hills Have Eyes. This is this podcast turned into like a movie breakdown. The Hills Have Eyes is the one where the US was like bombing New Mexico oh, with yeah. atomic bombs. And then the radiation was fucking up the people in the mines. And then they just kept on like populating pop repopulating themselves. So like like all the people after oh. them are deformed. And then this family's like traveling through the desert. Oh wait, that's an old one. Oh, it must be an older version. Yeah, I think that's the original one. Yeah. But anyway, so the first one's when like, the family's traveling through the desert in the RV, and then they attack them. And then the second movie is the one where the U.S. Army is stationed in that desert. And then they start picking off these people in the Army one by one. Ooh, ugh. I just got the creeps. The heebie-jeebies. No, that is like... that. I like that kind of scary because it could be true. Yeah, it could. You never know. It could be true. It's not like a stupid fantasy movie. Yeah. That's actually a good storyline. Shout out to Wes Craven for that. Yeah. Can we get a Hills Have Ice 3? Like a please? present day one? Yeah. Like maybe something has to do with COVID. Oh, yeah. Is there not a like, COVID one? Like scientists are taking these COVID infected oh people God. to the desert to isolate them and try to find a cure. And then after that the monsters start uh picking off those covid people and then they get covid and then <laughs> oh my god it's like um no there's a movie like that right oh contagion yeah. no not contagion it's con- outbreak outbreak yeah it's either contagion or outbreak yeah uh, yeah that's a good one where it spreads from the monkey yeah, 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 yeah. that's, that's on tv all the time yeah it is right i, I that remember it seeing that it sounds like a chainsaw we're outside yeah oh somebody's car they need wd-40 that's like every car <laughs> so, yeah well that's a good one I watched Beetlejuice for the first time this year was that stupid or was that good because that's fake it's super fake um I didn't care for it Beetlejuice Beetlejuice yeah. Beetlejuice it's not scary yeah because it's stupid because it's fake and it's Tim Burton though I don't know who that is I think I would I think like kids enjoy it if they're not scared Oh, it's a kid's show? Yeah. Mm. Poltergeist is supposed to be a scary movie, too. Mm. The original. <coughs> I don't know. I wish there were better, more scary movies out oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, people, they're just not making scary movies like they used to. House of a Thousand Corpses. Interesting. What is the Glass House one? Is that one 13 Ghosts? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've been over this. I love yeah. that one. All the ghosts start getting let out and then they, whatever, kill people. Oh, yeah, that's what the little boy riding the scooter, too. Where? Uh, 13 Ghosts. Oh, 13 Ghosts. I used to have the DVD for 13 Ghosts and I used to have a DVD player, but that was the only movie I had. So I watched it like 50 <laughs> times, which is also like that movie we bought a zoo. Mm-hmm. Uncle Ed gave me a laptop oh, one time. Oh, yeah. And that was the only movie downloaded on that laptop. And I would we watch bought that a like zoo. every night. That's actually a good movie. It is a good movie. The Black Swan, is that a movie? That one's that sounds scary. stupid. You watched it? I watched it. I didn't care for it though. Sounds dumb. Us is another dumb show. Yeah, I'm not watching that. There's a lot of stupid movies. The Shining. The trick to watching scary movies is to remember that they're not real. I mean, yeah, they could be true, but like they're like when you're watching it, the actual movie is not real. Yeah, you know, yeah. So then you won't be scared. Yeah. 
that's how we that's the key cabin in the woods a quiet place day one oh fuck off I don't yeah half of these movies I wouldn't want to watch The Mist another stupid, <laughs> another stupid one. one that one movie The Happening isn't too bad The Happening yeah oh wait there's another movie wait Which one? what's the one where they're driving around in the car is it a, no it's not a quiet place the one they're driving around in the car but they can't like there's something in the air and if they see it then they start committing suicide is it the mist is it i'm gonna google it pause i only, okay the only thing i remember about the mist is that they locked themselves in a grocery store oh it might be the mist okay hold on movie where people <laughs> drive in car with newspaper on windows oh no i don't think it's the mess then oh what i'm sorry what is it it was fucking bird box oh <laughs> yeah which I is a dumb ass dumb movie ass by the way because at the end where do they go to this like building where all the other people are without their <sighs> blindfolds on so suddenly you you don't see it over there <laughs> That's a dumb movie. And why do they even call it Bird Box? Yeah. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, yeah. That's what I, th I thought. When I first heard the name, I was like, what? Yeah, I think I watched it a couple times to try to like like it, but it was so stupid. Oh, right. Yeah. The best part was the part when they were driving in the car with oh. the newspaper <laughs> in the window. No. Is that the one Sandra Bullock? Yeah. Oh, God. Sandra old-ass Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What time was it? Oh, I think we're good, y'all. 46. Yeah. All right. Wait, how do we close it? All right, guys. Well, we hope you guys got a little scared as we, you know, broke down scary movies and horror movies and gave you guys a little bit of short stories that, you know, is fiction. <laughs> But, it, you know, it's just the spirit of Halloween. Also, by the way, I'm not feeling Halloween this year. Me either. I'm I don't know Christmas why. My Christmas decor is already up. Yeah, I don't know why, though. I think because we're old. No. Yeah. I love Halloween, though. No, I think it's because we're old. That's why we're not oh, into fuck. it anymore. Yeah. Because I'm not into it anymore. Either. Yeah. The mm. kids are, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I don't know. I always loved Halloween. I did too, like dressing up for school. But yeah, no, not anymore. We'll try again next year. All right, guys. Bye. See you next time. Have a spooky Halloween. And safe. Check your candy. Oh, yeah. Check your candies. <laughs>